Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love messages. We are going to be taking a look at the messages that are coming in for you um, in relation to your current romantic energy. So basically, actually, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at whether you should stay with this person, okay, and what you will get if you stay and keep yourself committed to this relationship or, just, you know, make a commitment to this commitment here. Um, so what will your future might look like, um, you know, what lies ahead for the two of you, um, or, you know, should you stay or should you go pretty much. Um, these messages are general, of course, but just uh, keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So I will be using the Angel Angels Oracle cards as well, uh, simply because I feel like there could be some really important um, messages that I feel like might resonate with a lot of you. So, um, yeah. All right. So let's begin with the okay, the Three of Swords here. Let's begin with the Three of Swords, shall we? Look for a sign. Okay, for some of you, this romantic energy is someone who has hurt you. Okay, someone whom you might, someone who might have broken your heart could be an ex, someone who might have be, uh, betrayed you or your trust or um, like rejected you or has ghosted you. You have to look for a sign because some of you, I feel like there's still, there's still lingering emotions there. Okay, yes, this person hurt you, but the people that we hurt, uh, the people that we love, they hurt us the most. And here's the other thing, you know, it's true what they say that. People that are hurt have a tendency to hurt others the most. Um, so that people that are damaged, you know, go around hurting others. And unfortunately, whatever someone doesn't heal within them, it will inf it will inflict pain on them and people that they're, you know, connected with in the future. So some of you, I feel like you have to look for a sign here, okay? Because there are signs that the universe is trying to send you. Um, some of these signs could be like, you know, you could see their name. It keeps popping up everywhere. Um, you could constantly be reminded of them. The others, you know, there are there's certain like signs, synchronicities, symbols. You could have reoccurring dreams or messages. It could also be that inner voice, your intuition, that's trying to tell you something here. For others of you, I feel like you could potentially be in a like a in a like a lover's triangle. You could be caught in a lover's triangle, um, and there's been a disruption to the flow of your connection purely because it's a third, you know, it's a third party situation, and some of you. You're not sure whether or not you should stick it out because you're not sure whether that person is going to leave their current partner and pursue this connection with you. You have to look for signs because I feel like the universe is trying to communicate or is trying to hint signs, okay? Um, and some of these signs um, can mean that you shouldn't be in a relationship that is compromising your, um, you know, your emotional happiness and your... Um, your sanity here so there are signs that the universe is trying to send you or even that your intuition is trying to communicate to you okay ten of swords again i'm getting a lot of pain with this connection guys okay no i mean there you go some of you there has been an ending i'm seeing an ending or there is going to be or there is like an ending in sight with this person okay once again Anyone who keeps hurting you, and there's a sense of repetition with the Ten of Swords, okay? Anyone who keeps hurting you time and time again, despite, you know, you giving them the benefit of the doubt, or despite you giving them second chances. I feel like this is a person who may, you know, unfortunately have malicious motivations and malicious intent to do so. Or this person is just that selfish and, okay, you should not stay with anyone who has betrayed your trust, okay, you should not stay with anyone who um, takes away from your happiness rather than contributes to it, you should not stay with anyone who, you know, who is promising you empty, unfulfilling promises, you should not stay with anyone who, um, you know, who, whose presence is like a dark cloud on your energy, okay, so someone who threatens your peace of mind, or threatens your happiness, okay, this is not someone who, whom you should Stick it out for. And no, you, you know, don't fight it. If something is ending for you, no, do not fight it, okay? Because the universe is potentially, you know, it has something bigger and better in store for you. And why would you want to push that away? You may think you've had, you know, the you've had the best thing um, ever with this person. But what's coming in for you is so much better. If only you just allow yourself that chance to explore it. A lot of air energy, guys. Okay, so 
dealing with a strong air energy here Gemini Libra and Aquarius are someone with a lot of air placement in their chart um, gosh and this is someone who I feel like you still hung up on them you you're thinking about this person a lot of lingering emotions here you're ready okay you know what a lot of you are ready to move on or you're ready to heal okay you're ready to heal from this hurt and this pain that this person has caused you look for some of you maybe you and this person you want to give each other another chance to explore this connection if so then for some of you i feel like the message is that you're ready to heal or you're ready to leave the past behind you but you have to give yourself permission to do that okay no one else is going to come in and give you the closure that you need or no one else is going to come in and um, help you you know do the healing that's something you have to give yourself permission to and trust me you're ready even the cards say you're ready but others of you i feel like it's just that you have to give yourself the permission to move on from this person okay to leave the past in the past because there's a reason why we call it in the past okay it's behind us it's not in front of us it's behind us we're done with it and yeah i believe like you know every now and then you can glance back to the past to look how far you've come or to sort of you know revisit some memories or revisit some lessons that you've learned in, on your way but don't unpack your bag and do not stay there here. So you're ready. I can see that you're ready for healing. You're ready to heal a past hurt and um, a resentment, a bitterness, an ending of some sort. And you, you, you are ready to do healing. You're ready to process all the emotions. You're ready for emotional cleansing and purging. You are ready. And some of you, you're sitting there and you're thinking, I'm not ready. It's too soon. No, you're ready. You are ready. Allow yourself. Give yourself permission. The world card, look at that, closures, endings. Okay, improving health, there we go. Okay, for a lot of you, this has this has threatened your peace of mind, your happiness, your sanity. Um, I feel like this has brought a lot of, there's, there's like a storm. Notice the dark clouds and, you know, the setting here with the three of swords. This, what you've had gone, like what you've had going on with this person was like an inner storm and inner turmoil there's been a lot of dark clouds that have gathered and have been very ominous and threatening here um the clouds are lifting okay um, i'm seeing that there is something that's ending for you here it could be that this relationship with this romantic connection and this i guess more specifically applies to you and you know who you are okay you're in a relationship with the person who i feel like is um you know is as i've mentioned earlier they're basically taking more away from your happiness and they are adding to it and i'm seeing that in the future and this will all come from if you allow yourself if you give yourself that permission to oh sorry um if you give yourself that permission to you know to to move on and to um heal yourself and heal the pain heal the past okay um, it's going to improve your health like i'm talking about your spiritual health your mental health your your physical health your emotional health a lot of a lot of air energy okay so this is definitely it's definitely had a very significant impact on your overall health i feel like especially like your mental health like i feel like for a lot of you i can see that you because of this connection and because of what you had with this person you've gone into a, like a depressive state a very um distressing emotional state of affairs here um Putting an end to such a connection that has threatened your peace of um, happiness and threatened your peace of mind and putting an end to a connection that, you know, has expired. Okay? There's nothing, there's no more purpose this connection has to serve you. So, you know, what the future has for you, the future has so much, the future has new beginnings in store for you, but these new beginnings are disguised as endings and something has to end in order for you to begin again whether it's the ending of a chapter the ending of a disconnection a relationship the ending of a cycle the ending of a pain or hurt or just the ending you know putting an end of to a chapter here and just moving forward and moving on with things um, however you decide to end this or however it ends for you here an ending is necessary in order for a new beginning to come in guys so you know should you stay in a connection that is in a connection that sort of it burdens you with you know with stress with anxiety with 
depression, with a sense of unhappiness. No, absolutely not. No, because I feel like there's a sense of repetition with the swords as well, isn't there? I feel like this person has caused you enough pain and enough grief. And I feel like it's time you give yourself permission to heal and move on. Because like I said, the universe has so much better in store for you. You just don't know it yet because you haven't given yourself permission to experience it. Alright guys, these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.